There's a holdup in the Bronx. Brooklyn's broken out in fights. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. There's a scout troop short a child. Cruise ships do an idle wild. Car 54, where are you? I didn't want to give the guy a ticket when he opened that big mouth. It's as he is. Well, Mr. Spaceman, how do you like it on the moon? Hmm? Well, don't break it. It belonged to my grandfather. 53rd Precinct, Sergeant Abrams. Mm -hmm. Lady, you'll have to call the Humane Society. You're welcome. Go chase monkeys. Keep <laughs> safe, Tootie. Not again. We just... All right, okay, I'll tell you. Say, Andy. Yes, sir? Uh, will you get me the incoming roll book? Uh, I don't have my shoes on. Oh, sure thing. <laughs> you guys on the gift committee? Oh, no. He's not going to call another meeting. Tootie called. Don't go home. Wait for him. We must have been out of our minds when we elected him head of the gift committee. He's making it his life's work. <laughs> Hey, fellas! Wait! I... <laughs> Something came up. We gotta hold another meeting. They thought it was said we were getting them a watch. For three weeks we've been voting on it. All we have to do is to get Sergeant Abrams a gift for his 25th year in the forest. For heaven's sakes, dude, let's get this thing over with. What, well, you want to hold a meeting right here in front of Sergeant Abrams? What a committee they stuck me with. You watch it, the captain. I thought you men were off duty. Haven't you got homes? Todd, are you signing in or are you writing a novel? <laughs> what are you men gathered around? Oh, no, you didn't call another meeting. Well, Captain, there's a right way of doing things. How would I... you know? <laughs> For three weeks, you've disrupted. Look who I'm talking to, Muldoon. He's your partner. Talk to him. Oh, look, Cap, it's the first time the Precinct Brotherhood Club has elected him to a public office. He's nervous. You're nervous. But I thought it was all settled. You were getting him a watch. What happened? What kind of a gift is a watch? A guy works in the supermarket two weeks. When he quits, they give him a watch. This is something special. This is for Sergeant Abrams. Oh. You know how we feel towards him. Remember before his feet went bad, he used to stand in spectrum for us. He used to run around and do us all favors. Well, we love him, and we want to get him something that shows that love. Why don't you get him a charm bracelet? <laughs> How'd you find out? Oh, no, you're not getting him a charm bracelet. Well, it ain't exactly a charm bracelet, sort of an identification bracelet. And the jeweler let me have it. So I show it to you guys when we vote on it. Another vote? Well, Captain, there's a right way... Quiet! <laughs> now, look, Tuddy, this is the last meeting. You change your mind once more about that gift, and I'll change your means of transportation from riding in a nice, soft patrol car to pounding a hard beat. Now, get upstairs and get it settled. Sergeant, a burglary. Ma'am? Oh, have a dash Harry. Back again. We found the stuff in his sister's place. He went and woke the baby. <laughs> Come on, Harry. Look at the way a man carries a garment. Drink on it. Now, here's the identification bracelet. This is something he never in the world would think of buying for himself. The jeweler told me it's the only one of its kind in the whole city. Look, it's great. It's beautiful. Get it and let's go home. Yeah, we approve. Yeah, sure. Wait a minute. We got to take it to a vote. Oh, we already said we liked it. Do you mind? Do you mind <laughs> if once we do things the right way with regular parliamentary procedure? <laughs> now, does the chair hear a motion to get Sergeant Abrams an identification bracelet? Yes. I move we get Sergeant Abrams an identification bracelet. You're out of order. 
What do you mean, Oliver? <laughs> because there was a previous most maiden past to get Sergeant Abrams a watch. We've got to cancel that one first. Oh, brother! <laughs> I move we cancel the previous motion to get Sergeant Abrams a watch. I second it. All those in favor, raise your right hands. Carry. Now, do I hear any other motion? I move that we get Sergeant Abrams an identification bracelet. I second it. A motion was made and seconded to get Sergeant Abrams an identification bracelet. I now throw it open for discussion. <laughs> what discussion? What discussion? We didn't say what kind of a bracelet we want to get him. What kind? The kind you just showed us. Well, why wasn't it a motion? Now we have to vote on an amendment. Now oh, that does it for me. Now, wait, wait, wait a minute, fellas. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it. You guys elected Gunther your chairman. Let me tell you something about Gunther Tootie. I've been his partner for nine years. For nine years, every day, I've been sitting next to him, listening to him. I've had a chance to study him, get to know what kind of a man he really is. Now I know. He's a nut. A nut! You don't argue with a nut. You don't reason with a nut. You just let him do it his way, OK? Thanks for backing me up, Francis. Now, do I hear an amended motion contingent? Oh, that doesn't look okay. no. 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 All right, what's up? Nothing. Why? Why? I walk into a room, suddenly it's quiet. Hey, the Yankees, I think they'll go. Oh, Come on, what's going on? Oh, uh, Sarge, uh, gee, uh, that looks pretty nice. What is it? It's an identification bracelet. Gee, I never saw one like that before. I did. My wife did. <laughs> An identification bracelet. She expects me to drop that on the street, so I have to be identified. But she bought it, so I wear it. Personally... <laughs> What's going on here? Just identify the goods you think were stolen from your store, Mr. Kissel. I'll check it. This looks like mine. I don't know about this. Oh, that's what I'm sure of. Belongs to my brother-in-law. Say, Lieutenant Corbett, can we use this room for a short meeting? Sorry, Tootie, can't you see we're busy? We'll meet in the detention cell. We'll meet nowhere. I'm going home. Me too. Hey, fellas, where are you going? Come on, I'll drop you off. What a bunch of goofballs. I got to get him something. Why don't you help me, Francis? Look, Gunther, I'm out of it. I don't want to get involved. Oh, gee, my first time as a chairman of a gift committee, I want to make good. I... You know, especially for Sergeant Abrams, I'd like to get him something real nice, like a... Hey, a smoking jacket. I bet he'd like this. Look how rich it looks. Hey, Francis, feel this velvet. That's velour. Oh. Uh, were you looking for something in velvet? <laughs> well, we haven't decided yet. We're just looking around. Take your time. How about a lounging robe, huh? I think I have one here. <laughs> Put it aside myself. Look how they louse up my stock. <laughs> Here we are. Now, this is a garment. Look at that. <laughs> Fully lined, huh? Look at the collar. Hand stitched. Do you know clothes? Look the way they're set in there. The sleeves, huh? Beautiful. What do you think? No. Looks baggy. Looks baggy. What do you think this is? A walk-up? We alter. We'll take the shoulders up a smidgen. <laughs> wait a minute. We'll tuck it in here to give you the wait a minute. The sleeves will show. Wait, wait, hold it. Not for me, it's with Sergeant Abrams downstairs. Why didn't you say so? I love that guy. Come here. I don't want to say this in front of Mr. Kissel, but uh, this junk isn't for you. Now, there's a little store on Southern Boulevard, the little camper shop. They've got a dressing gown there. I've been dying to get my hands on it for months. The owner must nail the windows down or something. <laughs> Listen, that dressing gown shrieks for Sergeant Abrams. What's the use talking? Don't waste any more time. Go right down there and get it. See, we only got $25 to spend. You got a present Can't for you raise another few Yeah, it's such a up. bargain. Oh, it's you, Harry. Uh, just a minute, Ed. Can't you raise another 10 bucks? Not without another meeting. That's impossible. Come on. Uh, wait a minute, Ed, please. <laughs> Lieutenant? Yeah? What have you got on me? Level with me. Possession of stolen property. Possession of Section 1308, 1 to 3. I'll get Murray the lawyer, pay him for the last case. I should be out by, uh... 
Listen, can you wait six months? I'll get you the dressing gown for nothing. <laughs> tell me the dress. Look at the shop on Southern Boulevard. Don't tell him I sent you. Just yeah. buying something. Are you kidding? This junk ain't for us. Come on, let's go, Francis. Sal, you're imagining things. I tell you, they all know something, and they haven't got the heart to tell me. Tell you what? It's obvious. Word came from headquarters that in two weeks, when my 25 years are up, they're going to force me to retire. You retire? <laughs> she laughs. The department wants youth. A man reaches the 25-year mark, they start looking for reasons to retire him. And with my feet, how far do they have to look? Oi! 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 Now, stop worrying. Captain Black won't let you go. And the men all love you. Sure. They loved Sergeant Sweeney, too, didn't they? So what happened? One day, to a total stranger who was hanging around the station, Sweeney starts telling him about his arthritis. The total stranger turns out to be a police surgeon from downtown. The next day, Sweeney is retired. Finished. That's how they do it. A total stranger? A total stranger. No, no, no. I'm not giving up without a fight. Let them send someone. I'll show them a man in the prime of... Oh! Oh! <laughs> hey, Francis, come on out here and see how it looks in the light. Will you buy it and let's go? I'll put it in a nice box. No, no, wait. I want to see how Sergeant Abrams is going to feel when he walks around in this thing. Do you mind? <laughs> ooh, ooh, Francis, come here. Ooh, come here. Will you buy the dressing gown and let's go? What dressing gown? That's no gift for Sergeant Abrams. There's the perfect gift. A pair of orthopedic shoes? Could you think of a better gift? Think of those poor, broken-down feet of Sergeant Abrams. It'll be a new world for him. <laughs> what do you say, Francis? How about it? Well, where's the phone? Hey, where are you going? Well, I gotta call another meeting. Another meeting? Well, it's twice our budget. It's $50. This calls for a vote. Another vote? Tell you, are you crazy? I can't... All right, okay. 1191 Southern Boulevard. All right. 53 PX to dispatch. Half cars 41 and 362 proceed to 1191 Southern Boulevard to give aid and assistance to car 954, K. Okay? Now, this is our Lady Belladonna model, and this is our casual. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a minute, fellas. Hold it, wait a minute. He changed his mind about the gift. Oh! <laughs> wait, now wait a minute. We're getting Sergeant Abrams some orthopedic shoes. Orthopedic? Where? What's that? <laughs> All those in favor, raise their right hand. Carrie. Great. See you. Wednesday, Mrs. 